It's a rodent problem so bad the government spent $20 million trying to fix it back in 2003. And guess what? It could be back and potentially worse. Nutria have been spotted on the peninsula, a place they haven't been seen before. And if we don't stop them now, their population could boom and really wreak havoc. Philip Townsend explains. Nutria aren't anything new to our area. The pesky rodents feast on wetlands, destroying a lot of what keeps shorelines protected against erosion. But they've been contained for the most part here on the south side. In fact, back in 2019, we told you about the Monin family in Virginia Beach using this fake alligator to scare them away. Rat-like creatures with orange teeth that uh, dig huge holes and eat your grass. But now there are reports that the rodent is making its way across the James River onto the peninsula. Fresh land that could lead to a population boom and a big environmental threat. You want to be able to tell the difference between nutria and muskrats because they do look similar. Nutria are much bigger, about two feet long and up to 20 pounds. Muskrats, about a foot long and only five to 10 pounds. And pay attention to their tails, that's a giveaway. Nutria have long, thick, rounded tails with coarse hair, while muskrats have vertically flat tails with no hair on them. And unlike muskrats, nutria munch all the way down into the roots of plants, consuming a quarter of their body weight every day. That kind of appetite and destruction wipes out critical feeding grounds for the ecosystem, preventing shorelines from absorbing the effects of sea level rise. And unfortunately, the conditions for feeding north of the James River are a lot better for nutria, which is going to make them a lot more difficult to control. According to biologists with the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, one nutria can turn into 100,000 of them in just five years. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. When it comes to invasive species, regional biologists say nutria are near the top or even at the top of the list.